Hi, this is Hazel Marie. Welcome to my craft room. Today we are going to work on another Christmas project. This one is going to be a rosette tree. And I'm sure most of you have heard of rosettes. Um, if you haven't, hey, it's going to be a lot of fun learning about them. Uh, the things that you're going to need today are going to be um, paper. You're going to need 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now I did cut out all of my pieces out of one, just one uh, 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Um, I, If you notice here, I have scallops on my paper. I did use a uh, Sussex die to do that. Uh, if you don't have a die cutter or you don't have a scallop uh, cutter, um, there's other things you can use. You can use um, your punches uh, to use the scallops. Uh, maybe something like a, um, uh, a border punch. You can use that. Or you can just freehand it. Or it's okay if it just has a straight edge. That's not a problem. So you're going to need two of the two and a half inch wide by 12 inch long pieces of paper. Two of those. And I have already started, so that it won't take so long, folding or, or scoring this one. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Another thing that you're going to need is two of these. And these are going to be two and a half inches by 12 inches long. Both these two pieces and these two pieces are going to actually end up being glued together so they'll be like 24 inches long. So the last piece that you will need and I've already gone ahead and scored it and I folded it and made it into like a little treetop. Now this one is also uh, 2 inches wide by 12 inches long. You just need one of those. Now on this one I hope I gave you the right size. This is 2 inches wide by 12 inches. And this one is 2 inches by 12 inches. We're going to join them together and it's going to be 24 inches. These are 2 and a half inches by 12. There's two of those. We're going to join those together. Those will be 24 inches. This one is 2 inches wide and it's 12 inches all by itself. 12 inches long. Now, you're going to need something to put your tree in. And I have an old spool. And I think I bought this on YouTube. Mm, quite, oh, I don't know, a year, year and a half maybe. Um, and I bought that and it had this old twine around it. And I'm going to use that, which kind of makes it look kind of rustic, if you can see that. Okay. It also has a hole in the middle. And so you will need to use either um, this type of um, uh, spool or a regular spool. It doesn't matter what kind you use. Just a regular spool that has thread on it. Not a problem. Now, the one that I was going to use is this one. And as you can see, it doesn't look too good on the top. So what I was going to do, until I remembered that I had this one, is I was going to put a two inch uh, circle on the top but before I did I was going to cover it with um, batting or um, you know some kind of decorative uh, snow type material glue it here put a hole in it and then you've got that covered not a problem so if you have this type of uh, spool it's not a problem you can use that works just great also, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a bow. Mine is already tied. And you're going to need a button. Now, if you don't want to put a button and you want to put a piece of uh, bling or something else, please feel free to go ahead and do that. You want to make this your own. Now, this is a bamboo skewer. And it's seven and a half inches long. And I cut it and then I stained it. 
I did leave the pointed end on because I'm going to glue this in and this fits a lot better if it has this part so it can fit in. Also needed is going to be something to go on the top of the tree. Now this is Jolie's Boutique and you uh, can get these at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby and it has these really cute flowers and that's what I'm going to put on top of mine one on each side of the skewer so that they back up to each other and no matter where you look at the tree it will be decorated you're also going to need a ruler love this ruler use it all the time if you don't have one oh my goodness this thing is worth its money uh, it's a uh, Tim Holtz ruler and you can just measure up storm with this highly recommend getting one if you don't have it already and then you are going to need your scoreboard now I'm going to put these aside and I've gone ahead and I've gotten some of the things ready because it would make the tutorial too long if I did not do that now these two are going to go up here and I'm going to finish up. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut your 12 inch long by two and a half inch piece of paper. Then you're going to put it on your scoreboard. Put your straight edge, if you've already put a scallop on it, up to the uh, edge and then you're going to mark every quarter inch all the way down to the end. Do all of your paper at one time and set it aside. Now, as you can see, I've already gone ahead and I folded this. To do a rosette, it's simply a back and forth or a fan fold. And so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on the uh, score lines which is one quarter inch is just back and forth back and forth and what you're going to do is every so often you're going to just really crease it really well because you really want this to be really really creased so it's just back and forth and as you can see this is why I didn't wait to do the other pieces because it does take a while but it's fun and uh, we can do this together if you want. I have found that when I do tutorials or I watch tutorials, especially when I watch tutorials, I guess I should say, I love to watch it all the way through. And then if I like it, of course I say like, and then I make a, I make a comment in the comment section, and then I bookmark that particular episode. And I put it under a heading, uh, under my crafting, now this one here would go under Christmas crafts. And then when I got ready to make the um, item, whether it be the Christmas tree or something else, I would just simply go to Bob and Bookmarks and I would select Christmas crafts and pull up the particular one that I was looking for. Now if you start to get off a little bit, just kind of stop and take it easy just a little bit and make sure that you're on those lines. Those lines are there for a reason and that's to keep us from getting in trouble and that's what I just did. I just got in trouble and that's not good. I, I know you can't see real close but um, I got offline. Oh that's not good. Here I am talking and not watching what I'm doing. Okay so I'm just going to turn it over make sure I'm back where I should be and this thing is going straight because we don't want anything. I have a word that I use all the time. It's called wonky. And one of the ladies in our church office, she heard me say wonky one day. And she thought that was just hilarious. Of course, she's very young. And uh, so as I was there working with her, trying to get a project done, she used the word wonky. And she said, from now on, that's going to be my favorite word, wonky. So I use wonky a lot. I haven't used it on the videos. But I'm liable to just come out with a wonky every once in a while. And that's what this paper did. When something kind of goes wrong or it's not doing what it's supposed to do, I'll end up calling it a wonky. And uh, I do a lot of wonkies, I think. But anyway, um, 
you just go back and forth and back and forth. But back to my tutorial uh, information, I go and I select um, the particular tutorial I want to watch and I pull it back up on my computer and then I can stop and start, stop and start um, so that I can get all of the directions down. Um, now see, I made a boo-boo right here. What I actually did was, I think I skipped. Looks like I skipped one. So I'm going to fudge it just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead. Ah, oh, okay. Um, it's not a good idea to fudge uh, sometimes because then they don't come out very good. But I think I'm going to be okay there. Sorry about that. Pretend you didn't hear me tell you to fudge it. <laughs> uh, but if you're a, an old crafter, and I don't mean age-wise, I mean experience-wise, you know about fudging sometimes. And sometimes things aren't always perfect, but that's okay. Sometimes we can make it work by just, I don't know, doing some little something. But I love tutorials. Absolutely love them. <clears throat> In this particular uh, tutorial that I'm watching right now, I found on YouTube, and I do not remember the name of the lady who was doing the rosette trees, but if you go online and you pull it up, uh, Christmas rosette trees, I'm sure it will come up, and I don't mean not to give her uh, uh, a shout out, but I just simply do not remember, and I did not write it down, I am sorry. So, when you get through, you're going to have two pieces that look like this. What you're going to do, and I do use hot glue. Some people do not. I like the hot glue because it's fast. And it does hold. So, I am going to put these two pieces together. Make sure they line up. And then, you have got now a 24 inch piece. Now, each one of these, this is our two inch, this is our two inch, one piece, two pieces, this is our two and a half inch, 24 inches now, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these together. Okay, so we will pull him out. And don't need a whole lot of glue, just, just enough. I hope you find uh, these tutorials um, interesting. And I hope that you'll give them a try. I love making Christmas projects. I don't know about you, but Christmas happens to be one of my most favorite times of the year. Uh, not just for crafts, but for so many different reasons. Now, what we've got now is... All this a circle, actually. What we're going to do is kind of gather it up. And as we're gathering, we're going to be pushing down. As you can see, it starts to make, if you actually just kept it down, it would actually make a rosette flower. But we don't want a flower. We want a tree. So we're going to let it kind of start popping up a little bit. This is kind of the tricky part because you need like three hands, but you only have two. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our hands and working. And I know you probably can't see because I've got my hands in the way. But what you're doing is you're trying to make it into like a tree shape. And once you get it into that tree shape, we're going to add some glue. Now see how easy that pops up? That's why I say this is not so easy sometimes keeping it all together because you do need three hands. And if you're like me, you don't have three. So, sometimes you wish you could borrow one or call somebody over and say, Hey, come help me. But, that's not usually the case. Okay, so we're going to try and get this into a tree shape. And keep it there. That's that's the thing. It's, the problem, it's not a problem getting it into a tree shape. It's a problem keeping it that way. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get it going. We're going to put some glue and we're going to work it into a tree shape. 
this is not exactly how I imagined it was going to come together. But sometimes our ideas and our the way it happens is a little bit different. So we want to go ahead, get this tree together. I sure hope we don't have to start all over because it is a pain. Let's see here. I don't want this to glue this glue to dry, which it's trying to. I'm going to take it back apart. Whoever said tutorials are perfect every time? Huh. They don't know what they're talking about, or else they're really a lot better than I am. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see if we can get this going a little bit better. Let's try keeping it down. You see, it's just kind of making a little circle. Maybe that will be a little easier. And I do have one of those mats uh, that I'm using that nothing sticks to. So we're going to put that to the test, okay? See if that really works. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. Because you'll hear me. Ah. Okay, I'm holding it together. I want this hot glue to start gluing and holding and I want to start pushing it upward because what we want to do is create a tree, a tree form. And a tree form has to spread out or else it's not a tree, is it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold it for just a couple of minutes. And if you notice, this is what I, whoops, this is what I did with this one. Oh, much easier. 12 inches. Much easier than this uh, 24 inches. Okay, my um, my tree is starting to set up, which is a good thing. The bad thing is, <laughs> I, uh, I tend to cover up the hole a little bit, but that's okay. That's where the um, uh, piece of bamboo is going to go is right down through here. But I don't worry about that too much because we can go ahead and make that better. We can do that. Okay, not a problem. Okay, now this right here needs to stand up a little bit more. So let's just kind of push it around. Okay, that's going to be the base of our tree. Huh, my little bitty easy tutorial is turning out not to be quite so easy, isn't it? Okay, we've got glue everywhere. But that's the fun of crafting. You never know what you're going to get. I think I've used that in another one of my uh, uh, tutorials. So you just never know. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some more glue. And we are going to glue these two pieces together. We now have a 2 inch by 24 inch piece of paper. This also has the scallops on the edges. If you don't have scallops, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it this way, is we are going to put some glue over here. That's going to make us a circle. Just like we did a little bit ago. It's going to be a circle. Okay, and we are going to put these two pieces together. Glue, glue, glue. And we have another circle. Of course, it's a funny looking circle, but as you can see, it's kind of a circle. Okay, now we have our scallops up, and we're going to kind of bring it in. We are going to work the outside out, the inside in. Aha, uh -huh. like so. That's what you're going to have. Now, we're going to go ahead and do it kind of like we did the last one, because you know we didn't do too good on that one. Let's just see if we can do a little bit better on this one. Okay, make sure your, your pieces are in place. Popping up, of course. It's not good. But, hey, we can fix it. Not a problem. Okay. When you're crafting, just don't be afraid of it. Most problems can be repaired. You can always put something on top of it, under it, around it. Something. Hey, we're creative. We can do this. Okay. As it starts to set, oops, come on, I'm going to bring it up, whoops, 
hopefully I don't make a big mess, but I have been known to do those too. And I'm going to make a tree shape. We want it to be round and I'm stuck to my tree. That's not a good thing. Don't want to be stuck to the tree. So let's go ahead, let's make it into the tree shape. We're going to be holding it for just a few minutes. Um, we don't want this to be a disaster. Okay? Okay. Now, I hope yours looks a little bit better than mine does because in my mind's eye, that's not exactly what I had in mind. But that's what we've got. So, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have to do a project more than one time. Uh, let's see here. I have a tool. Probably a lot of you... Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what it is. First, I thought it was an ice pick. When I was a little bitty girl, we used to have ice delivered to our home, and we had one of those old ice boxes. Now, remember, it was in the corner of the kitchen, and Mother would have an ice pick, and you chomp, chomp, chomp your ice. Now, I'm not sure that's what this is, uh, and I certainly don't have an ice box, but. It does work well in the craft room, and it may be a craft tool. I don't know. I got it at a garage sale. My friend um, bought a house, and uh, everything in it. Uh, the lady had passed away, and when she bought the house, she got everything. So she sold everything, basically. And uh, I went over and uh, helped her, and that was one of the items that I bought. So. Let's see what we've got here when we start assembling this. So let's see if it looks anything like a tree. Like I said, yours may look better than mine. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spool and I'm going to get my bamboo skewer that's seven and a half inches long. Now mine is pointed on the end, but that's because I did not have a large enough hole to hold something larger. And this one seems to work just fine for what I'm using it for. I'm going to put my glue here on the end. And I'm going to put it down in here. Now you want to make sure that this is straight and not wonky. Or I should say crooked. Okay? I just had to use that just for you. And uh, that's one of those words you're welcome to use. I grew up with a a mom that was older than most people's moms and uh, she was from East Texas and I've never heard her say wonky before but I sure heard her a lot of East Texanisms come out and I find as I get older I tend to use them too so anyway now you've got that so let's try and assemble this now my problem was putting or getting the hole in the center, if you remember, because this thing was falling apart and it was going this way and it was going that way and it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So what we're going to do, <laughs> it's a little cricket, little little wonky there. What we're going to do is we are going to add some glue. Push it down a little bit farther. We don't want our, our spool covered, but we do want it to wear that this will not move. And we're just kind of going to go around. hope I'm in frame here. And we are going to hold it in place until it dries. Okay. I find that I say okay too much. That's something I need to stop doing. I don't know about you, but to be around somebody that keeps repeating the same thing or you know whatever it just kind of gets on your nerves a little bit and I don't want to get any, on anybody's nerves so I gotta stop doing that oops I'm stuck to the glue boy that glue is powerful okay <laughs> uh, okay sometimes you have to work with it and bend it back into place okay so Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you didn't stop me there. I used that okay again. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to try and make sure I have a hole in there because it would be impossible once I get it on there. 
Aha, there. That glue is strong. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, thank goodness for these little gadgets that I call a nice pick. I'm not sure what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. Maybe I should call it my craft tool. I don't know. I did notice that my glue is not sticking over here, and that's probably because I messed it up. So I'm going to put a little more glue over there. I don't want it not working. So there. If you need to add a little glue, please feel free. I don't know if you've ever watched, um, uh, I think it's Ribbon, Roses, and Lace. And Michelle is on that channel. And it's called, well, it's not called, it's called Ribbons, uh, Roses, no, Ribbon, Roses, and Lace. But it's called, uh, her, a lot of her um, things that she does is called Just Add Glue. Now, I happen, <laughs> I get a kick out of Michelle. She's the character. And when I say character, I mean that in the most nicest way. She has a lot of fun. She really does. And, oh, can she make a glue gun go? She is very good at it. So if you've not been to her channel, I would really recommend it. If you can't remember Ribbon, Roses, and Lace, all you have to put in there is just add glue, and it'll pull her up. I'm adding some more. Don't want this thing to go anywhere. Uh -oh. Glue gun's falling over. I sure hope this turns out because I sure would not like to have to make this all over again. Because that's been something fighting these little pieces here. Aha, it's not gluing good yet. I'm too too fast here. Trying to get through here too quickly. That's not good. Okay, now yeah, fell down. Okay, so woohoo, I'm out of spring. Sorry about that. My um my tree top did not want to stay the way it was supposed to. And I moved my hands too soon. Not good. Okay, remember what I said though? Little glue, little this, little that. We can fix most things. Okay. There I go again. Okay, that is about the most lopsided little tree I've ever seen. Hmm. Okay, then here is our last little part of the tree and it goes on and it does have a hole and isn't that the cutest little thing just love it okay however I'm thinking well let's see here let's see how, how it looks from the side make sure that it's kind of spaced out about the same and uh, it is, I think. I'm going to put some more glue around the top. Hmm. I'm finding out that this was a little harder than I thought. Because I remember on the uh, video that I watched, the tutorial, I remember this one lady had, had uh, written in or sent a, an email or something and said that her tree wasn't real straight. Well, I can sympathize with her now because mine's not too straight either. But you know what? I think this is still going to be cute when we get through. Like I said, if you make this, send me pictures. I'd like to see yours, see what you come up with. Now, I do know that this is definitely too long. So, I'm going to get my uh, my uh, wire cutters, which is what I use in the house. And I am going to cut this down. Now, I guess I boo-booed somewhere. Oh, I know what it is. I didn't have a long enough um, trunk down into the tree, uh, down into the spool. That's probably what made it a little bit too long. That's okay, like I told you. Hey, that was a good example. Hey, it didn't work. 
So I have cut this down. Oh, uh, my stick just went flying. Um, probably about an inch, inch, well, maybe two inches, I guess. Um, so let me see. Let me find the prettiest part of my tree. This is kind of like going out in the woods and looking. Um, I am going to get, um, well, before I do that, I'm going to put my uh, ribbon on. Uh, you need to make a little bow, just like this. Just make a bow. Put some glue on it. Find the prettiest part of your tree, like you do when you go out into the woods. I think I'm going to put mine right here. I don't know that that's the best part, but there's a blemish there, so I don't want it to show. So I'm going to put my ribbon there. Remember what I told you? You know, it's kind of like if you if you get lemons, make lemonade. It's kind of one of those things. Then I have this tiny little button. It's a wooden button. Love wooden buttons. And I'm going to put it in the center of the flower. Just like that. Now, since it, the, fly, uh, the uh, tree is facing me, when I put on my... Uh, no flower. Make sure that your flower and your oops, your uh, uh oh, I'm getting stuck on glue. <laughs> okay, uh, make sure it lines up. You don't want your bow over here and your flower over there. So I'm going to turn this around. I've got so much glue on me. Okay, let's see. We can get this other one. Same, same flower. And we are, look at this. I got glue everywhere. Okay. I read one time um, that to get rid of um, glue strings, that if you use um, your uh, heat tool, and you just kind of blow it over it, not get too, too close, but just blow over it, that it will melt those strings and you won't have them. Um, in fact, I have a new uh, hot tool, and I don't even have it out of the package yet. Okay. So I, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm sure it is if they said that it was. I, I believe it. Because when you get through with the project, sometimes you can fix uh, glue strings off of that forever. Okay, now, here is mine. You can see the bow is right there. My tree, and there is the top. I think that turned out pretty cute. Even if it is a little wonky. I hope you enjoyed making this little tree. And if you don't get it right the first time, try it again. That's probably what I'll do. <laughs> but it was fun, and I enjoyed making it with you. And I hope you'll come back and see me soon. Bye-bye.